Two former Stockton police officers on the other side of the law indicted today on assault charges for the alleged beating of a Stockton teen last December. Both officers will report to jail tomorrow morning. CBS 13's Laura Hafley is live at the Attorney General's office in Sacramento with the next step in this investigation. Laura. San Joaquin County DA Tori Salazar announcing the indictment of those two former Stockton police officers, but then taking it a step further, referring the case to the Department of Justice for civil rights violations. Now, that teenager involved, Devin Carter, and his family spoke earlier. They're claiming this as a small victory over the local police department. Not many people will go through police brutality or get shot by police and they survive. Nine months ago, Devin Carter begged for his life. I'm not resisting. Ow, ow, get off. I'm not resisting. Police body camera footage released by the Carter family's attorney shows the brutal beatdown of the then 17 year old by four Stockton police officers. They will be held accountable. Family attorney John Burris commending the San Joaquin County DA for indicting two of the four officers, including Omar Villa de Pua and Michael Stiles, on charges of assault by a public officer and assault with force. It does not matter who you are, what your profession is. We must all be held accountable for our actions. The Stockton Police Officers Association released a statement Friday afternoon supporting the indicted officers, claiming they feared for their lives after the teenager led them on a car chase. Writing in part, Mr. Carter drove in excess of 100 miles per hour with no headlights on, often in opposing lanes of traffic. Burris says Carter took off because he was in fear for his life. There was fear on the part of Devin when the police were pursuing him because that's the kind of fear that African-American men, myself included, will have and still have when you're on a dark road where there's no one else that can protect you and save you. Have you watched the body cam footage? I've watched it many times. I'm knowing that only two out of four were fired. It puts fear in my life knowing that I can possibly be pulled over by those two officers again. Attorney John Burris, who represented Rodney King 25 years ago, says he's confident this time around his client will see justice. There's no free beating anymore. Attorney John Burris tells us this is the most severe case of police brutality he's been a part of since he represented Rodney King 25 years ago during King's civil case. Now, those two former police officers will be booked at San Joaquin County Jail tomorrow morning and appear in court next on November 11th.